first uh, pilgrims update from the road. Oh my God, like, <sighs> now. So this morning I left, um, I left Clonakilty. I got up this morning, like the past few days have just been insane. Uh, I stopped working. Then I, um, I, I started on the first updates. Um, I did a gig in Casey's. I did a, I did a goodbye party in the, in the bars in Clonakilty. Oh man, do you know, with half of the town still being out and not well. And then because I worked right up to the end in Casey's, I ended up having five days to get ready. And then of course I stuck my thumb into a car door after having asked somebody to come and help me with the recycling. And uh, I, I was very lucky. The thumb is actually okay. I need to keep it clean. It's nearly dry. But, you know, I can't, I can't, I'm, I'm a seven finger harp player now. And as, as they're sitting outside here in the pub, they're singing songs and the harp is in the living room. Okay, so day one, day one from, from here to Jerusalem, it is happening. I left this morning. Last night, I made, uh, I made a bed in the spare room and slept there. It was the first night I wasn't sleeping in my own bed. And this morning I got up and I still had to pack the bag. And of course, like, as it goes, as pilgrims go, like, we always talk about how much do you care. Now, of course, I've got the harp bag with the harp in it. And I was looking at everything and I thought, I need all of it. I need everything. I need clothes and I need stuff, medication, and I need this, that, and the other, and I need more, I need more, I need more. I was packing the bag and it was getting heavier and heavier and heavier. And by the time my friend Tina called me, I was thinking, I'm not so sure I can lift any of this. So I took out a bag or two and gave it to her and said like, please just take that. My commitment is to carry the harp. That's my commitment. And apart from that, who knows? Like, you know, who knows what I actually need? But the fear, like leaving your home, the fear becomes like letting go of all those things. So I, obviously I need clean stuff for my thumb. I need an emergency kit for uh, if I get sick or if anything happens. I need a spare change of clothes. I need socks, very important. And I need my passport. I need my pilgrim's passport. And then really I should be done. I don't know, I was there, I could not let go, like, I could not let go, it was crazy. I had, like, notebooks, I wanted to bring music, I wanted to bring uh, aromatic therapy oils, I wanted to bring all kinds of stuff, like, everything, just in case, all this just-in-case stuff started coming back up. Um, the house sitters arrived. Uh, there was no key, we had to go cut a key. It, it was just, it was insanity. So I think I did something terrible. I think I left the house in half chaos, half organized. I, I got my bedroom for ready for them and that was about it. That was about it. I did the recycling, brought all the, the nonsense away, but that was about it. And then I gave my friend Tina the bag with goodies that I didn't want to carry today which included, I think, paperwork and stuff. And I just went down the hill and there it started, hugs all around, like, so first hugs with Caroline and Michael. And then we went, I went further down and there were people waiting at the corner. And Katie Sleeman gave me, was whispering in my ear, all the good advice that I'm always so grateful for that she always gives me on every trip with her Alexander Technique thing. Listen, if you're in West Cork, check her out. She is 
just an amazing, an amazing teacher. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, then we walked. Oh, Pauline was there as well. So more hugs. And I was leaving from cases at 12. So I arrived there. I arrived there late. It was actually a phone call. was like, uh, where are you? Like, why are you not here? I said, I'm trying to get through Pierce Street. I'm trying to get through the main, through the main street to Casey's. So that took a while. Waved at some people, said goodbye. I I had to flirt with the uh, I had to flirt with the uh, with Frank, Frank or Frank from the Barras, of course. Like, um, told him, you know, don't wait for me. You know, know that I love you. And uh, then we made it to Casey's, and there some of my friends were waiting, and I got lots of hugs, and uh, you know the no breathe we do no breathe hugs, don't breathe on each other kind of hugs, and uh, and it was time to set off, and I had kind of said that I I wanted to walk along because I haven't walked an awful lot. And I needed to just go and have that time uh, on my own so that nobody would ask me, you know, do you need any help? Because if people would ask me, do you want any help? I knew there was a hill in there and I'd be out of breath and I'd be sweating and I just want to punch them. So I had put the bag on my back. I turned took the bottom, started walking, and uh, it was like a real pilgrim's goodbye. Like on the Camino, you get these places where they ring the church bells as the, as the, as the pilgrims leave. And there were all my friends and all these people like Ray from the bars was there, James from Casey's was there, uh, Vicky was there. It was just amazing. And they all started clapping, and there's me walking out of the street, turning around, waving. And uh, yeah, I, I walked out of town over um, the back of Fern Hill, down at the bottom of Fern Hill, toward uh, Rosmore, Rosmore, Bielat. I ended up going to Bielat, and then in Bielat, I got a, a, a phone call from uh, Deborah Davies, and she said she was at Todd's pub, and uh, where was I? she would come and walk towards me. And I was really touched by this because I had a thing with my, my friend Marcel, my really, really dear, dear friend Marcel. And in the beginning, when I used to go to Amsterdam, he would come and walk toward me to come and pick me up from the station. And uh, it's a really nice feeling. Um, there, is a, there is somebody in Italy who did that as well, who does that as well. Um, so it made me feel really good. And then I realized I hadn't had breakfast. I had no breakfast. But I had pancakes and cheese in my in my uh, in my bag. So once I spotted Deborah, I just put out found a verge, a bit of grass in the verge and put put the rain gear down and we sat down and I had something to eat and then we did the last bit together and it was all pretty well done I'm not going to show you my feet today because up to two weeks ago I had kind of a, a, a corn something I had really a lot of pain in the ball of my foot and I couldn't figure out what it was and it turned out that I had a piece of porcelain stuck in there and it had you know the skin around it had, had encapsulated it so that was pressing into the ball of my foot. It was really, really painful. And I used a peel to get uh, to get to loosen it up so that I could take it out. But now my feet are really peeling, so they're quite I I, I think I really have to watch out because I might I might be running the risk of blisters. Now the pack was good. I did the first hill up up uh, towards Bialat. And uh, yes. I was sweating, but I wasn't as out of breath as I thought I would be. And it felt really good when I came to the top. And then I saw a bench and I did something which I have never done in my entire life. I sat down. One of the lessons 
I'm going to really try and learn this time is self-love. As in, look after yourself and make sure that you take every opportunity to rest. Both in from here to Santiago and in from here to Rome. I would just push through all day long, all the time. And my commitment, of course, is still to carry the harp. But, you know, I'll be 53. I have to push all the time. I haven't really walked a lot in the past few months. I've been standing in the kitchen. So I'm going to take it nice and slow. And every bench that I see, I'm going to rest for a little while. I'm going to have a look around, maybe answer some, answer some uh, emails. So I did a tiny bit of social media, uh, which was really nice. It was really nice. I haven't done any of this for such a long time. And uh, now, so it took my sweet old time getting here. Uh, I'm in Ballygartine in Todd's Pub. And when I arrived, uh, today is also was the fundraiser for MS, uh, Charlie Bird's MS fundraiser, as he was climbing Crop Patrick, and there were groups all over the country raising funds for MS with him. And there was a group here as well, and I arrived, and you could see, like, they were going, like, is that, is that? And I could hear Jerusalem. She's walking to Jerusalem. <laughs> and I said, Yes, that's me. I'm the woman who's walking to Jerusalem with a harp on my back. And they were like, Oh my God. Like, so we did the whole little introduction, and there were some women that came to talk to me. And it was really, really lovely. I felt really good. So I, I've been sitting around now with the thumb. I played like two tunes and that was, that was the end of it then. And there were all these kids and they came and had a go at the harp and it was really lovely. And now, by now it is like nearly midnight. Uh, they're still singing out, uh, it's, it's not midnight yet, but we're getting close to it. And they're still singing out there and I'm sitting here, my eyes are nearly closing. I met my, my friend Kieran Higgins, who I hadn't seen, I think, like, I met him just after the first lockdown for one cup of coffee outside, and that was really it. And he was there. I've had some wonderful, lovely conversations about, you know, what it is I'm trying to do, and I've been answering lots of questions, and it's been really nice. And I can't believe it, like, the fundraiser is up to 2,300 euros. How did that happen? Like, that went, that is just so touching. I have to do the math on it. My head is not working anymore. I'm going to do an update, a proper update, tomorrow morning. Uh, probably I'm going to try and do it on the road, because I actually like um, talking on the road. Or maybe somewhere as we have a break. Sean the Harp is not in this room. Uh, there's still people out there. So I'm not going to go walk around and, and show it. I made it. I made my first. I did it. I left. I left. And I also didn't go back um, to sleep in my house. I am. I arrived here and taught Pope. I met Carmel straight after I came back from, from uh, Santiago, uh, together with Kieran. And at the time I said to her, I would love to come and visit you in your pub one day. And it took me 12 years, 12 years to get here. Every time I'd come by, she'd be closed. And now I'm here, I, I could only play like, I don't know what I'm gonna do as long as this thumb is like this because it's I need my thumb I need my thumb I really need my thumb thumb please heal please heal now one of the things I did not forget is oh yeah the shell that my brother uh, got out of Bantry Bay for me my shell my uh, my pilgrim shell and it's amazing to be wearing my belt again and look and I have my I have my pilgrim my pilgrim sweater on again. I feel elated. Like I feel really, really, really good. Um, Carmel made a bed for me and everything. 
I got fed, I drank an enormous amount of tea, and Kieran bought me a, a hot port. But I am tired. Well, oh, I did. I think I did the right thing, starting off with only the 13 or 14 kilometers that I walked today. Um, I'll be doing a tiny bit more tomorrow, uh, and about 16, I think, the day after. It is about right. Like the body needs a little bit of time to settle into this. Um, I have a bed tomorrow evening in the Nunway with uh, the the brother of uh, of my very 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 good friend, um, Mo Casey. So I'll be staying with your Leary's tomorrow, and then the day after I'll be in the Park Park Walking Center in Rimmelik. And the day after that, I'll be in Kelkil. Kelkil, yeah. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do there, but somebody suggested to maybe get in touch with Future Forest, or uh, I'll have a look at that tomorrow. The day after, I'll be in Gugambara. I think somebody, I, I heard a rumor through the grapevine that somebody is booking me a room in the hotel there, so. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I'm gonna find out tomorrow. And then my neighbor organized for me to meet a friend of hers in Balindiri, and they will put me up there. So it is, it's yes. And then I looked at social media, and of course, the message that I put up there, like saying, oh yes, I'm leaving, it's gone. 111 messages. Like, oh my God, where is all this love coming from? And I'm thinking that, yes, yes. I, I put it out there and then ask and you shall receive. It's insane. Like, I just feel very, very, very loved very very blessed um, I don't know what to say like there's, there's more a few people gave me a bit more money I mean I, it'll all really I know now it's all like oh, yeah it's amazing and stuff but I know that there, there once I walk out of you know a familiar territory and I run out of people who I know, who have connections all around, it is not going to be as easy. So I'm, I am literally nurturing everything and all of it because I know I will need it, and I will be sitting on every bench. I'm, I'm committing again. Once I see roses, I'm going to smell all the roses. I'm going to sit on all the benches, and I'm going to embrace this journey like it is a big warm bath. I've been getting hugs, don't breathe on me kind of hugs all day long. I've been talking to so many people, my head is like, I feel so guilty that I left the house the way I did. But then again, you know, it's time to go. Listen, thank you all so much for being here with me. Uh, Tomorrow, like a coherent update. This one is already again too long. What is it with me and talking? I can't wait to uh, to have you all along the journey. It has been amazing to receive all this love, and uh, on this elated note, good night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, maybe some people will join me live. I will put a, I will make a decision on what time and uh, put it out uh, before I actually go online. Thank you for being here. Thank you for wishing me well. Thank you for believing in me. And I'll see you all tomorrow. This was uh, the first update, my first pilgrims update from, from here to Jerusalem. My name is Anya. And together with my harp, Sean the Harp, we are the Flouting Harper. And uh, we're going to attempt to walk to Jerusalem. The first 
We need to get it up then. We'll do it again tomorrow. Until then, good night. Where? How did I get out of here again? Is it? Okay. I don't remember now how to get out of here. No, that's wrong. Why, why can't I do this, like? <laughs> uh, oh, God, oh, I'm like. Yes, there we go.